Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day. And today I'm going to be starting off with a keto coffee. Um, as some of you guys know, if you are familiar with my channel, I am vegan and recently I have been eating a keto diet as well. And I do try to be as gluten free as possible. I know it seems like a lot of work, but it really isn't. Um, I try to keep my meals and stuff pretty simple. Um, so I'm going to take you along for the day today. Um, and it is also a meal prepping day, so it, you know, like I said, it will be some simple meals. And I just want to get myself started with some coffee and MCT oil. So this is one version of coffee that I do in the morning. I always do a, a keto coffee in the morning. Usually I do an iced coffee, but today I just did not have any made because like I said, this is a food prep day and I didn't have anything ready to go. So I made a hot coffee, which is perfectly fine. Um, and what I'm going to add is some of this uh, Coffee Meat Natural Bliss. It is a plant-based half and half. It is half almond milk, half coconut cream. It is unsweetened. If you are looking for keto things, make sure you look for the unsweetened and always check your uh, macros on the back. So this has zero net carbs, which is really great. Then for just a little bit of sweetness, I'm going to add this Better Stevia uh, Peppermint Cookie. Uh, flavoring today. The maple one is really, really good as well. I love that one. And then I'm going to use this uh, MCT oil. Um, this is actually my second bottle since I have started keto. I actually had a smaller bottle. I think it was from Garden of Life, which was pretty which was good as well. I don't know if there's any difference between the brands. Um, I got this one on Amazon. I will link it down below if I can find this one for you as well. Um, but I just got this one because it is a larger bottle. So it is totally vegan. Um, MCT oil is supposed to be really great for, um, you know, just energy and uh, just gives you a lot of like brain, like, you know, it's good for your brain. It gives you a lot of focus throughout the day. I have found that it has really been helping me as you can, as you can hear, I have not had it yet. So obviously I'm feeling I, I need it immediately. <laughs> so, um, cause I'm feeling a little groggy this morning. Um, so I need this ASAP. So this is usually how I start my day with some version of a keto coffee. And I always, like I said, always, always add the MCT oil. <laughs> Okay, so there is my coffee all ready to go and you can see um, it only takes a few seconds for that little fr uh, mixer frother I don't I forget what exactly they're called like I said I'll link it down below if I can find one on Amazon they have so many different versions um, but um, it works really great like I said kind of mixes it all together makes a little nice little foam on the top and I really feel like this mug is very fitting today because like you can hear my voice I'm feeling a little bit groggy and tired but Hopefully this will uh, get me going. Like I said, the MCT oil, the caffeine, it's going to get me really started for the day. So I'm going to drink this and then I will see you in a little bit. Hey guys, so I'm going to have my first meal of the day and um, like I said before, I am meal prepping today so I'm not really super hungry um, and sometimes I just want like quick and eat, you know, quick and easy when I'm doing, you know, when I have a meal prep day. Um, but I also did just film a, a vegan keto uh, favorites haul for you guys as well as like some empties as well um, and I had this out so I figured I would make myself a quick smoothie and I would just share with you real quick. Um, this is the Garden of Life uh, Organic Protein Shake Mix. Um, I just, this is a a new um, a newer protein mix to me I I've always used um, uh, I love the amazing grass I love the true women brand as well um, you'll see some other one you'll see them in the uh, the video when that comes up I think it'll be up after this video um, but I'm gonna I'm going to make myself a uh, shake with this and just add some MCT oil and some unsweetened uh, the almond and it's almond and coconut milk so I'm gonna add that to it as well um, and you can add other things. I may add a little bit of uh, some flax meal, which is zero net carbs and some chia seeds for extra protein and omegas and all that stuff. Um, so all in all, it'll be very low net carb. This mix, one scoop of it is two net carbs. Sometimes I may only use a half a scoop because it is a very, very large scoop. 
Um, it is 20 grams of protein and it is, like I said, two net carbs, two and a half grams of fat. So, you know, you may want to add some, like if you are uh, keto, add some like coconut oil, a little bit of co coconut oil to it as well. Um, like I said, and the MCT oil just to give it those good fats in there um, and just kind of, you know, amp that up. Um, so this is what I'm going to have for my, I guess you could say, my first meal of the day. And I will see you guys back here in a little bit to, you know, share with you what my next meal will be. All right, guys, so here is what I'm going to be uh, adding to my smoothie for today. Like I said before, the Garden of Life Organic Protein Shake. And let me show you the macros because I know I told you, but let me just show you really quick in case you want to check. There's, you know, one scoop, 120 calories all there you get a lot of like greens and all kinds of good things in here just figured I would share that with you guys um, and then I also had a little bit of some coffee left over from this morning so I'm going to throw that in there because you can never have too much caffeine in my book I'm going to use a half of a tablespoon of the same the MCT oil because it is now afternoon so I want to just have a little bit more I think you can have up to three tablespoons up a day I usually have maybe anywhere from like one and a half to two tablespoons usually a day I have some in the morning and then mid afternoon I usually have some just to kind of get me through the evening um, just gives me that you know like that bright I feel like it gives me brain power you know to get through the days um, so and then I'm also like I said I'm going to add some flax meal about one tablespoon of flax meal and one tablespoon of some chia seeds just to add some extra protein and omega is really great for you and then I'm also going to use probably about a half a cup of this unsweetened almond and coconut silk and let me share with you the macros on that in case you are interested. Like I said, I'm going to only use probably about a half a cup is usually what I use. And it is 35 calories for a cup, three grams of fat, and only one net carb, uh, only one gram of protein. Um, but I will be getting lots of protein from the, uh, the mix, which is great. Um, so only 0.5 net carbs for the, for what I will be having in my smoothie because like I said, half a cup. So that's going to be my ingredients for my afternoon smoothie. Okay, right, so my smoothie is all done. And as you can see, it just looks so delicious. You can also add some greens in there if you had some available as well. Um, I don't have any at the moment. Like you could put spinach or kale, anything really, and you won't even taste it. Um, I decided because I am meal prepping, and you, like I said, you'll see that video soon, or it might be up before this. Anyways, I am prepping some tofu scramble, so I just decided to have a little scoop of that with some hot sauce because hot sauce is life if there are any hot sauce companies out there who want to share their hot sauce with me and let me share it on my channel i would love it um anyways uh because i just love trying all different kinds of hot sauce i also put a little bit of some sugar-free ketchup and this is a new brand to me and I just bought it recently, it was in my recent grocery haul, and this is the G. Hughes Sugar-Free Ketchup. It is one net carb for one tablespoon. So I only used about a, just about a teaspoon because I really didn't need a lot because I'm just having a little scoop of some tofu scramble. And you know, I really don't wanna waste carbs on a condiment, so you only need just a little, you know, just a little, little touch of it. Um, because the hot sauce has no carbs. Um, so that's going to be my, I guess you could say, my lunch for today. And I will see you later on for dinner. We are having Mexican tonight, so stay tuned for that. All right, guys, so like I said, Mexican tonight, the family will be having the traditional tacos. I will be making myself like a taco bowl, and I'm going to use these Beyond Meat burgers. These are so good. They are 100% vegan, plant-based, um, 20 grams of protein, uh, they are a little bit high calorie, but that is okay. You know when you are on when you're on keto um, But they are like they have a good amount of fat as you can see 20 grams of fat 20 grams of protein um, and the carbs are um, Five but the the fiber is three which makes that only two net carbs per burger There's the ingredients right there in case you haven't if you're not familiar with them and you want to see what they are made from um, Pea protein, which is a great you know great protein to add to your diet what I usually do is I will start with some shredded lettuce and then I recently just made some um, 
I had some Swiss chard and I just saved like the stalks and I just cut it up into some small pieces. So I'm going to top that on, on top of my shredded lettuce. And then I'm going to just take a little tiny bit of salsa because, um, you know, you have to be careful. Tomatoes can be a little bit higher carb. I'm just going to drizzle that with some avocado oil, a little sprinkle of this Redmond uh, Real Sea Salt. Always use the really, really good sea salt. You want to have that in your diet at all times when you are on keto. It is really great for you. Another great item to add to any diet and I love using hemp seeds. Um, what I did was I sprinkled some on my salad but you can only also use them in uh, smoothies and things like that and they are really high in fat and high in protein. They are zero net carbs which is really great. Um, they are rich in calcium and iron and also you can get your omegas um, your omega fatty acids as well into your diet. Another favorite of mine recently is this black sesame butter and it is so good and it is, I know it looks a little funny, um, but it is another great thing to add to your diet because it is, you know, has those good fats and good protein as well as some calcium and iron and potassium. So then I just threw my, uh, grilled Beyond Burger on top of my salad. And yes, I got a little heavy handed with the just mayo mayonnaise on top, but you know, it's all good. Um, also put a little bit of some hot sauce on top of it as well. And that is going to be my dinner for tonight. Very low carb, um, you know, even with the extra little bit of some mayonnaise. Um, the mayonnaise is only like two net carbs and the burger is only two net carbs as well. And the greens are very, very low. Um, and then the tahini um, is low. Also, uh, the tahini is actually only two net carbs for two tablespoons. I believe I maybe used around one tablespoon. So this is a very low net carb dinner and I absolutely, absolutely love it. It is one of my favorites and one of my go-to meals. All right guys, so here is how I'm going to end my night tonight. And I am just so in love with this uh, golden milk from garden of life i'm sure there are other brands but i recently just purchased this and i'm really enjoying it as a nighttime drink um, turmeric has some really great health benefits um, it's great for anti-aging um, help helps fight depression good for inflammation and so many other you know great health you know benefits but i just love the um, the taste of it and I find it very soothing at night to have it uh, what I do though just to um, amp up the flavor it does have some other things in it but um, I try to make it sort of like a chai tea and I add some a little pinch of nutmeg and then I also add some ground cinnamon and I do put a little splash of this Splenda vanilla you don't have to but I just like a little touch of sweetness um, so what I basically do is I'm going to heat up some unsweetened almond milk. You could use any, you know, non-dairy milk of your choice. And then what I what um, I'm going to do is just add a scoop of this golden milk. Um, so there's a little scooper in there that comes with it, and just blend that up with the um, the spices. And that is going to be my nighttime drink. Just close your eyes and let them rest. I know it's hard to fall asleep, but do your best. Cause there's a place that I go to when I want to hide from all the shades of blue. Cause at times I think of leaving, my mind takes me back to fall when the snow begins to sing at night to warm But I will never leave your side You're the reason to my part Never wither and run dry And your roses are my guides Goodbye, my friend My love remains But not this way I'm in your garden as a tea.